Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1390. Hey, if you want to download this Excel workbook, Excel Magic 1389 to 90, so you can follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, last couple videos, 1388 and 1389, we've been talking about average number of days between dates. Now, in this video, we want to talk about average number of days between a single column of dates. Yeah, in the last two videos, we had two separate columns, an end date and a begin date. But here we have a sequential list. And so we want to calculate the difference between the first two, and then the next two, and next two, and so on. Calculate all the differences, and then calculate an average. Well, if we're going to use a helper column, we're not going to have a formula in the first cell. But the second cell, we say, a equals left arrow, that's the later date, minus left arrow, up arrow, that's the begin date. That'll calculate the difference. Control Enter, and then I can copy it down. Once I have my actual differences, I can come down here and use the average function. I'm using the helper column here, simply taking those numbers, adding them up, and dividing by the count. So 3.2 is the average number of days between each one of these dates. Now, if we didn't want to use a helper column, we can notice something here. Notice blue cell minus orange cell. But as we go down, it looks like it's always trying to take whatever the one is here and subtract one above. So if we wanted a single cell formula, well, we could jump straight to the average function. And then inside the number one argument, we have to simulate this helper column. So I'm simply going to take the actual full column of later dates and subtract, staggering the reference one above, the earlier dates. What that means is B11 will subtract B10. So B11 minus B10, that will give me that 1. Then it will go to B12 minus B11, and so on. Now we can click on the argument here inside of average and hit the F9 key to evaluate and verify that that helper column is being simulated with our array calculation inside average. Control-Z. The one downside anytime you do array calculations is that if you have very large data sets, they can take a long time to calculate. Now, why is this an array operation? Because that's not a single cell minus another single cell. It's an array of items minus another array of items. Now, in order to get this formula to calculate correctly, we're going to have to close parentheses. And average function number one argument will not know how to calculate this array operation unless we tell Excel this is an array formula. And the way we tell Excel is when we're entering the formula, we hold Control Shift and then hit Enter. And immediately once we do that, we look up to the formula bar to verify that the curly brackets are automatically put in by Excel. Those curly brackets are Excel telling you it understood that this should be calculated as an array formula. So we have our helper column in our array formula. We can also take a page from 1389 and do three separate aggregate calculations. So I'm going to equal sign, open parentheses, and sum. I'm going to add, in essence, the later dates, close parentheses, minus the sum of, in essence, the earlier dates. If we're allowed to do this calculation one at a time, we certainly can add them all and then subtract all of the orange ones, the earlier dates. Close parentheses, close parentheses. We want subtraction to happen first. So we have our parentheses, then divide by the count. Now you have to be careful that we don't want the whole column. We want the whole column, in essence, minus 1. Close parentheses. Now the advantage to this is that we don't have to use Control-Shift-Enter, and we don't have a helper column. And although I didn't time these, I have a sneaking suspicion that the array calculation would take a lot longer to calculate if we had a big data set. But when I hit Enter, there's some number formatting being misapplied. So I immediately go up to the number group, click the drop down, and select General. Remember, the general number formatting is like the eraser that will remove all the other types of number formatting. 
or we can use the keyboard for general, control, shift, grave accent, or tilde. All right, that was a lot of fun with calculating the difference between a single column of dates, taking those differences, and then calculating the averages. All right, we'll see you next video.